Hey guys, welcome to my video on Luciana Jimenez. So Luciana Jimenez is definitely one of my favorite TV presenters here. I've already talked a little bit about my favorite, Anna Maria Braga, but Luciana Jimenez is definitely my second favorite. What I'm interested in doing today is learning a little bit more about her English. So she's lived in the USA. She used to date Rod Stewart, random. She's had a child with Mick Jagger. So she's no stranger to the English language, but how well does she speak it? That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, I want to show you a clip of her just to show you why I like her so much. So this clip is taken from Super Pop. This is the TV show she hosts. And every episode starts the same. Watch this. The audience is clapping. Luciana Jimenez is waiting for her moment. Here she is! And she used to be a model. Watch the way she's walking on. There's a silence. The queen has arrived. She turns. Oh! That is really assertive. That's quite, that's quite aggressive. Watch this. Tudo bem com vocês? Do you know what it reminds me of? This. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Actually, let's see how this works with the gladiator. Olá, boa noite. Tudo bem com vocês? Tudo. So yeah, she's a. Uh, She's quite a dominant, she's quite assertive. I just, I think she's great. And she speaks English. Let's see how well she speaks it. So what I have today is a clip from an interview she did with Donald Trump Jr. like a couple of years ago. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so now, what's your interest in Brazil? You're here with Bellino, which is a great partner to have, a great uh, friend. I know him since I was a child. So I think that this is really interesting because here, what she should have done is use the present perfect. So I have known him since I was a child. Next. Donald, I know they have to take you away, but I really have to say that I have um, interviewed your father and I'm very proud of him. And even I took mm -hmm. like some... Um, advises from him. So here she says she took some advices from him. What she should have said there is advice. Why? So this is really subtle. Advise, to advise is the verb. The noun is advice. Also advice is not countable. So what she should have said there is I took some advice from him. Th this is really, really subtle. Actually, it's in the book that I wrote a couple of years ago called The Top 85 Mistakes Brazilians Make in English. I'm going to leave the link to that below so you guys can check that out. So basically the book is all about the subtle mistakes, the most common mistakes that you Brazilians are making in English. But let's go back to Luciana. There's one more thing that I want to talk about. Because I'm also a mother and yes. I think it's great to learn with people that did it. So there she said she thinks it's great to learn with people. So what she should have said there is it's great to learn from people. Why? You learn from a teacher. You learn with your classmates. So if you learn with someone, you're learning at the same time. If you're learning from someone, you are learning from a teacher or somebody who can teach you something. Does Luciana Jimenez speak English well? Yes, she does. The mistakes that she's making are quite subtle. I've noticed I'm correcting a lot of these mistakes in my classes. So I hope that you guys have learned something from this video today. If you've liked it, if you want to see more, please hit subscribe below, give the video a like, and I will see you next week. Olá, boa noite.